Hello and welcome to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Great to have you here. So we're going to take a look at this watch today, the small 8008. Well, I think it's actually pronounced Schmale, um, but the thumbnail wouldn't work if I'd have done that. So uh, yeah, the small 8008, and this is a beast of a watch in lots of different ways. Got this off AliExpress. I will put a link in the description. There's lots of different versions of this watch. I'll put them on the screen now, but I suggest you take a look at the link. Um, there's all sorts of different colors from yellow, green, blue. There's a paint splattered and even a marble effect one. And this was only 10 pounds, was it $12, something like that. And it's actually really quite a good watch. It's not perfect by any means, but you've got to like this style of watch because this is a huge watch. So let's take a look at what we get for our money. Now this is a big watch in, in every dimension. Uh, it reminds me very much of the Timex DGTL that I reviewed a little while back. I'll put a link uh, up in the corner to that particular watch. But yeah, this watch is huge. Um, if you're into that, this could be the watch for you at this price because it, for the price, it's, it's really good. So dimensions wise, it's a 55 millimeter diameter. Now that's met with a lug to lug of 59.5 mil. Now, I was a bit of a pain to measure that, but I did manage to get it from these slightly rounded lugs just here. Now, the strap width, it stays 22 mil on the listing, which, which is right here, but actually where it goes into the lug is 27 mil. So you're not gonna be swapping any straps on this, but it's a beast even by strap dimensions. And then we get to the thickness, and it's 19.2 mil thick. It's an absolute beast of a cuff catcher. Um, sits really proud on the wrist. It's definitely a statement piece. If you went with one of the brighter colors, it really would stand out. Now, because it's plastic built or acrylic, depending on which listing you look at, it's only 72 grams in weight. I wore this for quite a while, and several times I forgot I'd gotten it on, but that was only because I was wearing something with quite a loose sleeve on it tight sleeves and this is just going to catch on your sleeve all day long now build wise obviously there's an awful lot of plastic involved in this watch not an awful lot of metal there's a few pieces that look like they're metal including the crown so that makes it very light and can cause it to creak a little every now and again four buttons on it so we've got one in the top right bottom right and then bottom left and top left uh, they're nice and springy so there's some good travel on there. It was one of the problems I had with the Timex DGTL was the buttons were really spongy. You couldn't feel when you were pressing them, but there's no issue with that at all on this particular watch. Now the crystal is just acrylic at the end of the day, or plastic, whichever way you want to put it, adds up with this style of watch. It does have several features with this watch. We've got an alarm, stopwatch, dual time. Now the dual time mode, there's actually no dual time mode on here. I basically think that means use the analog hands for one time zone and the digital hands for, uh, sorry, digital hands, the digital displays for another time zone, which is great in theory, but that can cause you an issue, which we'll come on to later on. But yeah, plenty of plastic. Case back is stainless steel, which I'll show you in a bit. But for the price, it's built really well. Right, so dial wise, obviously it's quite a multi-layered dial we've got the analog hands which sit on top of this black dial again all plastic build and then into that black dial are cut four holes which has got the digital display behind it so it works sort of from top to bottom the indices are painted white along with the numbers uh, we've got dual time water resistant 50m and schmal on the black dial there underneath the hands which are sword style hands quite chunky not quite cathedral hands, they have got a, a divider on there. They're loomed, so they're white from the pinion, but they're loomed, so the loom on the hands isn't bad, but it doesn't pass my 3 a.m. test, but it doesn't need to because you've got the, uh, the digital display. Then, as I say, we've got the black dial with the sort of, I don't know, bobbly pattern on it, I don't know the best way to describe that, sort of rounded uh, design on it, and that shows through the digital display in the background. And now those four windows are labeled as, and I think you can see it, but I will just put the light on it. I forgot to say there's a button here for the light as well. I'll put the light on it, it says time. 
for the time. This one has no label down the bottom for the seconds. We've got a date at the four o'clock. And then at two o'clock we have, if I move the hand slot, you might be able to see it slightly better. We'll pull up. There we go. Let's get that out of the way. And that says week. Now I'd argue that's not week, that should be day. SA for Saturday, which is the day that I'm shooting this video. So I'd argue that's meant to be day to actually be accurate. Now, as I say, the hands are looned, but you don't really need an awful lot on the hands because you've got this backlit digital display, which is great. But if you're using that as the second time zone and you're asleep or wake up in bed and you want to see what the time is, you're going to light it up and it's going to show the second time zone, not the actual time where you are. So I don't think it really works as a dual time because that's not one of the functions that is part of this. Now, down in the mode button, we can go through that. We've got the normal time, obviously. Stopwatch, start and uh, stop is here, and then reset is at the four o'clock. We've got an alarm, which you can set, and then that's how you get in to set the digital display. Lots of functionality, exactly what you need if you just want an alarm and a stopwatch. Now, bezel-wise, it's very angular with these clamps that are meant to look like it's clamping the crystal down. It's all one piece, I think. We don't actually clamp it down. I think it's just the watt cases sealed on top of the crystal. That way, the crystal, as I say, is acrylic. And it looks really good if you like this style of watch. And it's very much a G-Stock, G-Stock? G-Shock style of, of watch and if you don't like that style of watch this is going to be hideous to you but again for the price I do think this is a really good watch now case back wise it might be quite difficult for the camera to pick up because it isn't exactly printed on it well it says schmail or schmall 8008 and looks like somebody swimming Japanese movement stainless steel case back 5 ATM water resistance um yeah it's matte brushed i'm not quite sure it's pushed it must be a push on one because i don't see any way of unscrewing it to be fair um that is actually partly hidden by these inner shoulders of the uh, strap which we'll come on to in a second so it's not really an awful lot to see on the case back but it does stay stainless steel and 50 oh sorry 5 atm just before we go on to the the strap one thing I did notice while I was just talking about the dial, I sort of spotted it after is, I don't think the dial is quite aligned correctly. Surely that six o'clock indice should be in the middle of that button and the 12 o'clock should be bang on that A. I think it's slightly out by, I don't know, half a mil, which is a real shame. I've only just noticed that. I've been wearing it for a while and I've not really spotted it, but just when I was watching it on the screen, I did notice that that center six o'clock indices doesn't line up with the top of that button so that's a bit of a disappointment hopefully that is just down to this particular watch rather than something else because that'd be a real shame if it wasn't but again for the price 10 pounds 12 12 dollars now strap wise as i say it states as a 22 mil strap it's tpu you can see it's got this lovely sort of chevron which makes it slightly rough that can cause it to pick up some dirt and specks particularly from your skin and things like that. Um, but it is a comfortable strap. We've got sport watch on the top and then water resist and water resist of dual time. I don't know if it's really dual time. Now it is, it has got double holes and a double tang, which is quite nice. That makes it sit really nicely on the wrist. It doesn't feel like the strap is pulling one way or the other. On the back, as I mentioned before, we've got these inner shoulders that meet up to the lugs just to sort of round it round the wrist there. That helps it sit on the wrist for such a big watch. It was nearly 60 million lug to lug, but these can, I don't, I don't know if this will pick up, the mic will pick it up, but they can creak a little bit, particularly those shoulders, which is a little bit of a shame. So here it is on my wrist. Now bear in mind, I've got an 18 inch wrist and this looks big on it. So if you've got smaller wrist, you're really gonna struggle to pull this one off, I think. But for the price, I think it's a solid watch. £10, $12. You can't really go wrong with it. But if you don't like the style, you don't like the style. And I totally understand that. 
if you're a builder or maybe a commando or somebody in the SAS, this would probably be perfect for you as a beta watch. But it does have its problems. It's a bit creaky with those shoulders just on the inside of the strap. That dial alignment, now I've spotted it, I can't unsee it, which is a bit of a shame. I'm hoping it's just on my particular model rather than, than all of them. Um, and it's a huge cuff catcher, sitting that proud of the wrist. As I say, not for everybody. Now, if that's not your type of watch, this one might be something a little bit more slender. The Timex 40mm Scout. This is on a NATO. I reviewed this some time ago. I'll put a link to that just up in the corner. Thanks to everyone that subscribed, commented and liked videos, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.